the Statewide Viticulture Extension Specialist at Washington State University. And this week at the Washington Wine Grape Growers Conference, we had a really excellent session on managing by phenology. So how do you manage different things based on grapevine development? Um, one particular talk that um, was featured was a talk I gave on managing diseases by phenology. And while it was talked a lot about botrytis and powder and mildew, a lot of the questions that were prompted were actually related to grapevine crown gall. And crown gall is a really interesting disease in that it doesn't really respond to vine phenology, but it really does respond to environmental conditions. And I think the reason why grapevine crown gall was on everybody's minds at this particular conference was how cold we've been for this particular 2016, 2017 dormant season. So there's been some plenty of, of or there have been um, several cold events that were not quite cold enough to cause bud damage, but probably fell into the range that might elicit crown gall development. And especially given all the rapid vineyard expansion we've had in the last couple of years, we have a lot of really young vines out there which tend to be more susceptible to potential cold damage and thus crown gall development. So some of the questions that were asked was, you know, how do we scout for crown gall? What should we do if we suspect potential crown gall? And these can be challenging um, questions to answer, but as a general rule of thumb, crown gall will start to express galls uh, usually around the bloom period in, in the growing season. So in Washington, that's around early June or so. And what you're going to be looking for are small pink brain-like developments growing on the trunks. Um, this often will occur around the trunk base up into just above where grow tubes could potentially be. But you may not notice those rise right away. But as, as you're looking for those, though, again, those will typically um, come out in June. The unfortunate thing is that usually happens after you would have made decisions for uh, maintaining suckers, which could be used to retrain in the event that you have crown gall outbreak. So the general rule of thumb for management is if you suspect you've had potential cold damage in your vineyard, especially if that vineyard is young, is to leave some suckers growing so you could potentially retrain after you start to notice galls that develop after that bloom period. As the season progresses, those galls, if you have crown gall, will get bigger and you might start to notice canopy collapse in um, July and August as the vine struggles to keep up with water demand, but at that point it's typically too late if you haven't uh, maintained a couple suckers for retraining.